Bonjour. Excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît. Parlez-vous anglais? Oui? Non? Hello, we are off on our summer holiday to France at the end of this week and to be honest I am feeling so overwhelmed. There is so much to do. I need a major glow up, hair, nails, tan, I need to sort outfits, I need to pack and it's just a bit chaotic here at the moment. So I thought you could come along with me and perhaps give me a little bit of motivation to get organised. So we are not going on a traditional sort of holiday where you pack a suitcase, head off to the airport and arrive at a beautiful hotel to relax. No, we are going on a camping holiday. So we are taking our very old VW camper van over to France and to do some touring around. So rather than a suitcase, I'll show you what I need to pack. So this is what I'm working with, a big plastic container as opposed to a suitcase and everything needs to fit in here, just my things. Um, there'll probably be a separate box for toiletries and shoes and things like that, but all my clothes need to fit in this one box. Our camper van is called Big Bertie, and I'll insert a few clips here so you can have a little look inside. Um, we had a bit of a nightmare actually. We've spent all weekend cleaning, disinfecting, stripping everything out, doing some repairs because we had a little visitor over the winter we had a little mouse somehow get in and cause absolute havoc and it's eaten through some of the soft furnishings and there was droppings everywhere we've no idea how he or she got in there but honestly the amount of mess and destruction which was caused was awful there was no food left in there other than a few sachets of sauce you know what you get left over from a takeaway which we'd left in the little kitchen area so obviously it sniffed that out and made a nice cozy home over the winter but luckily now everything's been pulled out disinfected clean so the camper van is ours again and hopefully um, it'll stay that way as you can see from the clips Big Bertie hasn't got a lot of room inside we're very limited for space along with obviously taking kitchen things, cooking things, um, bedding and sleeping bags and pillows and things. So there's not a lot of room left for my clothes, which is um, proving to be a little bit tricky because we are going for 12 days. Now, I do love camping and I am generally a very low maintenance kind of girl. I don't wear much makeup. I can easily just wash and wash my hair and just leave it be that's fine but the one thing I'm unwilling to compromise on is clothing so I still want to look really nice I know we're going camping but I don't want to wear just like sensible things I want to have a few nice outfits to feel nice in so that's what I'm going to try and organize today. I have been and done a little bit of shopping recently and treated myself to a few new pieces. So I picked up a couple of dresses from H&M in the sale and a pair of wide leg trousers and a top from Primark and a new pair of sandals because I do have a nice sort of capsule wardrobe that I generally pick 
and choose things from but I just wanted a few new pieces to feel nice for holiday. <laughs> We don't have a wardrobe in Big Bertie but there are some hooks so the dresses and perhaps a linen, pair of linen trousers or a couple of linen shirts I can hang up so they won't get too creased and everything else can go in the big plastic container. I generally have picked things that are quite uh, neutral and, and plainish to fit in with the things I've already got. I'm very mindful of the fact that here at the cottage we haven't got a lot of space so I do have to keep in mind am I going to get plenty of wear out of it is it going to last me for quite a few years as much as I love sort of fashionable things and bright colours I really need to make sure things have longevity as ever I'm striving for a level of minimalism that feels right for me but I thought by having a few nice pieces that sort of elevate um, and make me feel a little bit more chic and put together for holiday would be really nice. I received an email recently from a company called Teddy Blake asking whether I'd like to choose one of their bags and review it here on my YouTube channel. So it's recently arrived, so I thought I'd show you. Now initially I wasn't too sure I'll be honest because when I first looked at the website as beautiful as all the bags were very sophisticated and elegant that's not really me um, I prefer a kind of more relaxed looking bag I don't work in an office or have a corporate job so there's no need for me to have something really sort of posh and formal and I like my bags to be a bit more squishy so they suggested I take a look at the Stella bag and they thought that that might be more my style and as soon as I saw it I thought wow that's the one for me it's really beautiful. I have never wanted a designer bag as such I can't imagine spending thousands of pounds on one but there is one bag that I've always really liked and I have it all on my Pinterest board and that's the Bottega bag, the um, pouch bag, it's like a squishy cloud. So when I saw that the Stella bag by Teddy Blake is a very similar shape and style and like that super soft squishy leather, I knew that that was the one for me. So let's take a look. It arrived in this nice sturdy box, well packaged with a magnetic clasp at the front there. So I'll definitely be using the box again to perhaps put scarves or or belts in so that's really handy and here is the bag it comes in a nice dust bag and oh look at it it's so beautiful let me get it out to show you properly so it comes in lots of colors this one is the light beige i was very tempted by the black and i might treat myself to the black one for autumn and winter but i thought this light beige was really lovely for summer and it'll go with loads of outfits and different shoes as well. I really can't get over the fact that it's very, very similar to that Bottega bag. But it does say on the Teddy Blake website that they have the same designers as some of the luxury brands. So maybe that's why. The leather is incredibly soft, including the strap as well. It's very, very simple and plain all over except for the small branding on the front there and it just opens like so let me take that out to show you actually what's great about it is it lays really flat so you can there's my chunky hand to show you how big it is um so it can lay look completely flat at the bottom so you can get lots in but it's got a very satisfying oh can i do it with one hand clasped together so it's nice and secure i do appreciate a bag that's nice and secure and got a good a snap on it so somebody can't slip their hand in it as you're walking along it's really you know nice and firm to open we will be visiting quite a few french cities and i know you do have to be a little bit careful not just in france obviously wherever you go and when 
I was younger and I went to France with my parents, my mum actually had her handbag stolen. So I had to go to the police station and try in my terrible school French to try and explain what had happened and what had been stolen. So I am a little bit aware of safety. Actually, we don't have any luck abroad with regards to being robbed because we went to Lanzarote a few years ago and our villa was broken into and literally everything was stolen including the safe which was bolted to the floor inside the wardrobe which had our passports and all our money in so i think i'm just a little bit extra cautious where things like um, handbags and traveling are concerned so yeah it's got a nice firm clasp on it so you can uh, feel safe Anyway, I am delighted with my bag. I think it's a beautiful classic bag that I'll be using for many years to come. And I just think it will elevate even the most plain and simple outfit. So it's going to be a welcome addition to my holiday wardrobe. So this is the H&M dress and I ordered it in a large because they only had large left. Um, and I think it's already an oversized style. But I think I could, I think it's fine. I just love that kind of loose, flowy, relaxed look anyway. I don't like dresses that are too tight. And I thought this one might be quite good to go with my swimsuit as well, because everything I take needs to have a few purposes or a few ways to wear it, just so I'm not packing too much. Being a holiday, I'm also going to take a few fun earrings with me. Um, maybe something a bit bigger and bolder something like these I think they look really nice and they should go with lots of things as well this is actually quite a good tip for you I don't know how you keep your jewelry but I get these from just like little craft like hobby craft or craft places or Amazon and it's for like buttons and sewing kits I believe um, but they make great jewelry holders because they're clear and see-through you can just see what you need and it keeps it dust free as well because obviously it's got a lid and they're also great to take on holiday as well so another little tip i for recently you. picked up this beautiful scarf from the charity shop and i thought it'd be a great item to take to france with me because i thought it i mean it's huge i thought it'd be great to go round dresses like the one i've got on just to give a bit of interest a little bit of color but I also thought it would be fabulous as a sarong or a cover-up. So this is my swimsuit, which is just... I'm not going to show you that on me today. Heavens above. Um, but that's my swimsuit. And I thought this would just be nice as... I'd have to learn how to tie it. I'd have to Google it or look at Pinterest. But I thought it'd make a nice sarong to go around a black swimsuit. So I was really chuffed with that. It's from a company called 100 Stars, which they do beautiful prints. And this has obviously got, are they stalks? I think they are. It's so beautiful. I'd have it as a tablecloth. <laughs> I love it. So that's another purchase that I made, but only £10. So that's a good one. And multi-purpose because I can put it on with dresses or plain things and also use it as a beach cover-up. So along with my Teddy Blake new handbag that will be coming to France with me, I'm just going to take a basket bag. And I'm not sure which one to take, whether to take one with a shoulder strap because my husband doesn't mind holding a basket bag at all. He's very good like that. So whether we have one with the longer strap or the shorter strap, but I just thought they were great when we're out exploring and doing touristy things i can put my sun cream water camera that kind of thing so i'm just going to be taking the two bags so a basket bag and the teddy blake one which will be beautiful for the evening but also in the daytime as well and i can wear it cross body or on the shoulder so these are the new black trousers that I picked up as well when I went shopping from Primark and they were only £9, so a bit of a bargain. And I thought these were great for holiday. They're really lightweight, nice and floaty and cool, uh, nice and high-waisted, which is a must-have. And yeah, I just thought they'd be great for camping because they don't crease up and they don't need ironing. 
So I thought these would be super. So what I've done here with the Teddy Blake bag is just add um, a gold chain um, just from another handbag that I've got because it's brilliant because it's got the two little hooks you can change the strap and I just thought that also looked quite nice if you wanted to have more of a posh evening look so yeah that's another way of doing it so it creates another look really by adding the different strap Just whilst I've got holiday packing on the brain, I thought I'd mention this to you in case you're also packing for holiday. Um, and it's uh, just a red lunch box that I'm going to use as my first aid kit. So it's only got paracetamol in there at the moment. It'll have plenty of things, plasters, ibuprofen, antihistamines, that kind of thing. Oh, and steri strips. I must put some steri strips in. They are great um, for cuts because they just pull the wound together. But because we're so limited on space, I just thought, oh, a nice small lunchbox to have the first aid kit in would be ideal. So just, just a little reminder to pack a first aid kit yourself if you're going on a road trip, as we are. I just wanted to show you these because along with me buying a few new clothes to take, I've also treated myself to a few little things from Marks & Spencer's Beauty. I wanted to try this. Is it Nooks? I think that's how you pronounce it that you know their body oil i've heard so and read so many reviews saying it's wonderful it gives this like nice glowy dewy finish which i definitely need so i didn't want to commit to like just like a full-size bottle of it in case it didn't suit me or i wasn't too keen so i picked these up in um marks and spencers online and these are like little travel sets but you get the oil along with lots of other bits with it and it was if you bought two any products you then got a set for free and this says it's worth 33.25 so i thought that was a really good deal but it just means i mean not all of this is going to fit in the camper van <laughs> oh dear um, i'm just going to choose a few bits to take but i thought it'd be nice just to have a few like luxury like little body treats to take because after all, we will be um, using the shower and toilet block along with everybody else on the campsites. And oh, when my daughter came a few years ago camping with us, she was absolutely horrified to go over to the shower block and discover in the shower tray somebody else's hair <laughs> been left behind in the shower tray and it just made her feel so ill and gagging and everything. I'm not so bothered about that. Like I said earlier, I'm pretty low maintenance, but I just wanted a few little treats. So just to make me feel a little bit nice. So have you used any of these? What are they like? I went for the floral set. So it's got the body oil, hand cream, perfume, shower gel. And then I think this is like the original one. Um, so let me know if you've used any of these, whether you think they're any good. Like I say, I've read loads of good reviews about them, so I'm really excited to try those. I get a great deal of joy from reading, but does anybody else find this? If you haven't read for a while, it's really hard to get back into the habit of reading. And I really want to take a novel on holiday that's just going to capture my attention from the first few pages. So 
let's have a look at these together and maybe there's one that you can recommend. So I have a few options here. Um, this I've been trying to get into for ages. I've bought it literally months and months ago. It's meant to be fabulous. So, and then I also spotted this one in the charity shop, but it's by the same author. So I thought eventually once I get around to reading this, I wonder whether this will be as good. So they are an option. Have you read either of those? Are they any good? So I've got to choose between those. And then I've got a couple of Sebastian Falk's novels. Lots of people have recommended Birdsong to me. And it looks as if I've turned the page down. Yeah, I think a few months ago I did try and get into it and I think it was good. But again, life happened and I've ended it ended up putting it down. So there's those two as well. There's a Week in December or Bird Song. Are either any good? Let me know. I don't know. I, I want something. I'm not really into chick, chick lit. I like something a little bit heavier, but I don't want something really too dark and depressing for a holiday because I, oh, I bought this because I loved her other novel. It was so fabulous. It was called The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. So I picked this one up at Firefly Lane. No idea, but The Nightingale, I would highly recommend. It is an absolute fabulous novel. So that's why that's in the maybe pile. And then my daughter read this and highly recommended it. It ends with Us by Colleen Hoover. I've heard good things about this, but I'm not sure whether it's my normal kind of thing. So this is an option. And I've already read this, but it is fabulous. I love anything by this author. I recommend it's one of my favourite novels. Um, All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dewar, I believe. It's really fabulous. I recommend it to everyone. I'm not sure where my copy's gone, actually. I think I've lent it to a friend or my mum. But I would highly recommend that. That is a wonderful, wonderful So let book. me know if you have a good book recommendation, whether you've read any of these, whether you think any, what, any of them would be any good. I get so much joy from reading. It's such a shame that I've sort of fallen out of the habit lately. So I really want to just push on and hopefully get captivated within the first chapter at least so I can carry on reading because it is the most relaxing thing to do isn't it on holiday just have a good book and to chill out. Has anyone heard of the 54321 packing method? It's a minimalist packing template and the idea is that you have say five tops, four bottoms, three shoes, two dresses, one swimwear and I do think the idea is fabulous, but I think it might be a little bit too rigid for me to follow. So I think I'll be sticking to mainly cotton and linen clothes, some loose dresses, a couple of trousers, uh, some wide leg ones, some white linen ones there, a few shorts, plenty of tops to sort of mix and match. And I'll probably take a sort of a lightweight knit just to wear in the evenings because uh, I always get cold at night. It doesn't matter what the temperature is. I'm always cold in the evening. Hopefully the next time you see me, I'll be looking much more glowy than I am today. But thank you for spending some time with me. I really appreciate it. I'm planning on doing lots of filming over in France. So I look forward to sharing that with you when I'm home. Please do tell me in the comments if you've got a holiday planned and where you're off to because I am super nosy and I'd love to know where you're heading off to. Um, but thank you for being here and I'll see you soon. Bye.